Hello, my name is Lukas Oldenburg from DIM28. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create once per visit or once per visitor metrics. Now, see this example. Here we have the normal cart additions metric. It could be any success event or any other metric in Adobe Analytics. By default, success events as well as cart additions count things per hit. That means I go to the product detail page, click on add to basket, that will be a hit, then I click again, that will be another hit, so I would already have two cart additions per hit. Then I go to the cart page, I uh, change the quantity, I add another piece, another item of the same product to the, to the cart, that will be another cart addition. So I would have already three cart additions, um, and then I buy it, and that would be like a cart addition to order rate of three to one, if I count it per hit. But I can also count it once per visit, so in that case, all these three card additions would count as one. Here we have a, an extreme example where number two sets Copper Plague had 105 card additions on a hit level and 20 on a per visit level. Now, what does that mean per visit? Per visit means I count it only once per visit. So there were 20 um, visits in which at least one sets Copper Plague product was added to the basket, but 105 times were these products added. So maybe a lot of people add several products or they add, remove and add and whatever. But in any case, in any case, in e-commerce, especially if you have returning users who buy again and again, it is usually recommended to serialize, uh, to normalize all um, e-commerce metrics on a per visit level and not count just hits. It can be grave differences, also product detail views or um, checkout starts, card views, etc. Whatever you have. So how to how to do that? It's actually pretty easy. First, you need a hit based segment, and that can be most easily generated by right clicking the metric and then um, clicking on uh, creating uh, creating a segment from selection. And we'll just do that. And the segment just has one condition: card additions exist. So here would here would be your Success event X exists. And then we'll call this hit. I recommend that you mark your segments and metrics with some indicator in the end that, sell, that, that tells the users, okay, are we counting hits here? Are we counting visits? Are we counting visitors? Save that. So now I create the metric. I click on plus, for example. There's many ways to build a metric, but let's do it like this. Um, I'll um, add in my segment that I just created, card editions exists, and then I'll say I want to count visits. I could also add unique visitors here instead of visits, uh, and then count unique visitors. I could also uh, put another metric in that would make sense in this context, like first time visits or second uh, return visits or whatever, or visitors who have already purchased or whatever. Um, so within this cart editions exists segment that filters out all hits with cart editions, like all cart edition hits basically, um, it counts visits. So for example, if I have two cart edition hits in my visit, I will be I will I'll have two hits within this cart editions exists uh, segment. But since both happen within the same visit, I will get counted only once. So let's call this conditions visit and I'll call it test because I already have a metric like that, of course. And there it is. Add it to the report and it looks fine. Now you may have seen in the success events report suite manager in the admin interface that when you um, use this unique event recording, you have the choice to also say record once per visit. Now, never use that unless you have a really, really important, uh, really, really strange use case for that. This will count the metric just on the, the first time it actually is set during the visit. So if I, for example, add product A to the basket and then product B, only the add to cart of product A will be counted and that's not what you want. You want the card edition count once per visit 
per dimensional value, so per product I want to count once per visit or per category or whatever is in my table at that moment. But I don't want to just record the first time a success event gets set.